M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the AOR DV1 and DV10 scanners. There is new firmware now available. The latest one on the DV1 looks like it's the 2205A, but let me know if there is a newer one. And on the DV10, which looks like this, the handheld version, the latest is the 2307A, and I know that's correct. And this allows and is advertised Tetra, the new Tetra system. Now you do have Tetra and the option to select te Tetra now on your DV10, but it does not. And I'll read what it says here. The AR DV10 digital receivers have been empowered with an amazing and unique new pro feature, GSSI user group filtering for trunked Tetra network. Now I think this is used more widely around the world uh, not so much in the UK, but a friend has called me tonight and told me that there is activity. There's not lots of activity and you need to be near, near built up areas. And he is in London and you cannot decrypt anything. You know, you just, uh, Tetra is like a very complicated version of DMR. You have, I think it's four time slots and you have this sort of command channel, the main channel, um, but that can change. So the command channel you could start listening there and then it can change to other frequencies. And what this, a bit, this feature allows, and someone please correct me, is for you to follow those different frequencies and different slots to listen to what's going on. And I'll, I'll read what it says here. By purchasing a key, your receiver will be able to import bookmark and name tag Tetra networks. GSSI user group list and and to selectively decode its voice communications you will be able to seamlessly follow a particular group between slots so it will follow for you and yet yeah, it does then go on to say that it takes a few days uh, for this for this to come through so let's go through the process of purchasing just for the DV10 just for testing purposes I'm going to scroll down and it gives you instructions here about how you need to fill out your name your number your mail address your zip code etc and you're, it's going to need on the. If you take off the battery, you'll see the serial number of your device. Keep scrolling down. You can pay with PayPal if you want. Now, if you want to go via the AR DV1, then you're going to need to press this red button. And the DV10 is this one here. And the price is ten thousand JPY, which I've converted to about fifty-five pounds. So it's quite a lot. It's quite a big hit of money. It's not free. So if we just hit it, and then I'm going to follow the process and just see what happens. And as far as I can see, nothing happens. <laughs> and I've been to some of the UK sellers and they're showing a pre-order listing, but they're not showing it as in stock. So maybe it's not available yet, but this is the, the pamphlet they give. We scroll down. It says click add to cart. So you click the one you like. It just goes straight back to the same page. The cart stays empty. So, hmm, as far as I can see, you can't buy it. You can't fill out this form. It says once you click it, you get to see this page, yeah? Which is the form. And I've tried DV1. There is no form. So let me know, AOR Direct. Should we try, let's try one more link. We'll now go to this page, AOR browser based software. So that's for programming the set. Firmware manual brochure, third party software. Let's try this. Under the DV10, we've got Logi Extract, Access Recordings, Update Tool. So that's a quick firmware update tool. And AR Data Editor, which is the software programming. So I can't see that we can buy anything. You've got this brochure here that talks about some new features. Record IQ data. So you can basically use, you can save, yeah, you can save some, some recordings, you know, of frequencies you've listened to and then play them back. And in your SDR, you select the audio from the, SD card and then you you get the full it's, I think it's quite good really because if you record quite a section 
play it back, you're going to get a full scope. I'm going to have to try that really. And there's the full instructions here. So I'll put that link in the description. It says it all here. We've got the, I've got an STR dongle here. Extract the zip file, PC folder of your choice. Start the STR software, double click the file STR sharp and in source select IQ file. Click the wheel shape and play it and then you get all, yeah, get that nice scope. But no sign of, um, what's this? TTC mode edition. Now I've seen this in the settings. Allow voice decoding of traffic channels of Tetra trunking networks. To enable this new mode, select the added TTC button in the mode menu, second page, slot selection, long press on mode and five. Press the left arrow key twice to select TC slot. Press enter and rotate the subdial to choose either slot one, two, three or four or auto press. So yeah, it looks like there's a manual way of doing it. I'm definitely gonna, gonna look that one up. Now I've got the device in my hand, you can't see it, but let's just quickly select that and then we'll end the video. It's been interesting anyway. So it says, allows voice decoding. To en enable the new mode, select the newly added T T T C T T C button in the mode menu. So if I hold down mode, and then I'm looking for, in the second page, I'm not seeing that at the moment, let's go back, mode, I see the trunk button in the first page, uh, da -da -da. long press on mode, and five, I'll do a video on this, slot selection, long press mode, and five. Okay, let me just see if there's a second page. No, but I've got the five. Now if I select that, it just says to me, activate, and it wants me to enter the key that, that we buy. So let's try pressing mode and five at the same time. No. We're in mode, and then five. Uh, five. I've got DPMR coming up. Not seeing Tetra. I'm going to look more into that. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Been interesting. But yeah, we failed at buying a AR, a um, Tetra decoding key by for now, 7.3.